Okay. Ah. I'm here. Whoa. Don't we need some more lights? No, we need to get the lights up. I guess we do need more lights. What am I going to do? Nah, I'm not going to leave the lights alone. Look, hey. Hey, first of all, I'm not going to be coming to this side. Uh, I'll be coming to this side every two or three days. But this next week here, we're at the apex of the pandemic. I never listen to any of this stuff anyway. That's what they tell me. So I'll probably, this is a Saturday right now, whatever day it is. Probably come back on a Tuesday or next Tuesday or Wednesday. I get my old stuff together here. I put my 100% no sugar added, 100% juice, cranberry that is. Blend of four juices. Yeah, well, that gives it that for right? Cranberry juice, water, cranberry juice, whatever it is. Concentrate, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, it's kind of weak. So here, I take my pomegranate, add it to that little bit of cranberry right there like that. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, like that. Add the cranberry there. Just concentrate. It's real cranberry. That, that, I'm sorry, that's, that was pomegranate. This is the cranberry. That was pomegranate. So I'm adding the pomegranate and the cranberry together. Just a little bit of the cranberry. More pomegranate like that. But you know what the exercise is. It's the middle of the day. Let me stir this around a little bit. Pour my cranberry juice in. That's really just trying to dilute my little pomegranate juice a little bit. But it's the middle of the day. You know what I'm supposed to have. Twice a day I'm supposed to have it. I have my Marengo bitters. This has got to go with me over the other side. Because i got to have my bitters twice a day. Bitters are so good. What they have in this stuff here is unbelievable. In this time of your pandemic and all the rest of this stuff, I'm trying to get the right vitamins in your body. My suggestion, bitters. Moringa bitters to me is the best. I went through this. Ooh, I went through this before. All the stuff that's in it. They got a lot of stuff that's in it. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Two columns worth. <laughs> Two columns worth. Like that. That's going to go with me to the other side. Got my B12. They gave me B12 from the VA. For those of you people who are not into socialized medicine, as they say, or you know, Medicare for all. Too bad, sorry. But I get my get my medication for free from the VA. That's socialized medicine. And any place in the in the states that I am, they'll mail it to me, no matter where it is. Huh? There you go. So all you people waiting for these rich people to give you something? Well, Keep on waiting. They ain't giving you nothing. They keep on lining their own pockets, which is what we're going to... Listen, I was telling my wife down there in South Africa, and things have changed there because there's no alcohol. They're, they're really changing. This is kind of interesting. But here's what they wanted to do. You know, there's, there's, there's women that sell... They sell bananas and fruit, you know, like, like pears and, you know, apples all day long. They, they, they're lined up all over the place. The government wants to impose this thing where they have to register as vendors or something like that. Come on now. Now, here's the thing. Right now, people are helping each other. But I was telling her, I said, look, they're telling you to do something like register. They're going to create a whole new bureaucracy paying somebody to register you vendors. No, what you should do is not accept what they're saying to you. You demand from them something. Like, where's your website to, for your for your for your um you know, to sell to sell your craft stuff, right? Well, you know, they had a little initiative in the Western Cape one time. I don't know what happened with it. But that should be all over the craft. They shouldn't have to, the government should have a website for the craft to sell this stuff to the world so they can get money coming in. Those are the kind of, you just say, no, no, you don't tax us for something. You, you see, what they should be doing is, is they, they should be advocating for Li-Fi, Li-Fi, light wave. You know, you have Wi-Fi, which is radio waves. How you communicate, that's how you use a cell phone. Or you you let me have, use my Wi-Fi. No, you get Li-Fi. All static nations have Li-Fi. Free Li-Fi, that means that everybody can talk to each other. They don't have to pay nothing. That's it. Because in this time, you need communications. You need transportation communications. They they can't give you the transportation because that's, that's like, you know, it's social distancing won't, won't happen there. 
they 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 they, they want to take this this time period to actually put some more tax of bureaucracy on you. No, this is the time for people to stand up and say, no, enough is enough, as they say. You know, you've been taxing us. Every time something happens, they want to put another layer of bureaucracy on to 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 to, to create another job for somebody in their circles. No, this is everybody needs to be paid now. That's what I would say. And this relates to ADOS, by the way. Because here's the thing. But in fact, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. ADOS needs to do what we need to do. Our little thing. When I say our little thing, we need to do what we need to do because all over the world, there are initiatives all over the world. People are, are doing stuff. They're not listening. Stop listening to these politicians. Cuomo, uh, 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 with the Newsom, uh, the Trump, none of these people, they're, they're like third sources anyway. Go directly to the, to the scientific paper. All the scientists have stopped what they're doing. They're all doing, they're all working on stuff. Go to their scientific paper. Stop. Why are you listening to Cuomo for orders? He wants to get rid of Medicare for all in New York State, so why are you listening to this boy? In time of crisis, you going to listen to anybody? No, in time of crisis, you better listen to somebody that got some real knowledge. If somebody's getting this up third hand. The, the, the Surgeon General, I laugh at the Surgeon General because he ain't got the demeanor. He ain't got the, you know, as we say in New York, the chutzpah, you know, to, to, to do anything. Now his latest thing is like, well, you shouldn't really be drinking alcohol. Oh, really? Okay, fine. That's your advice? We we got stuff to do, and you, you advise us about not drinking alcohol. Is that the best you can do as a Surgeon General? Stop drinking alcohol? What is the matter with you? What is the matter with these people? Why are you following these people? Just because they got a position and somebody put them in position doesn't mean they know anything. They know nothing. No, you're not supposed to be drinking alcohol. But, but he's giving you all... Here's what I say. Look. Alcohol depletes your cells because you know what you're supposed to drink a lot of water because you want to you you want to make sure your cells don't get depleted. You know what I mean? They, they, you don't they don't get dehydrated, if you want to say. So we need you to have. But well, here's what we're going to do. Here's, as a surgeon general, the other thing I'm going to do is like, and I don't want you. I know you're all going to in this thing. You want to alter your state, as you know, you want to go on smoking marijuana and stuff like that. Here's what I'm going to do. Look. From now on, all marijuana, we, we just forget it. You know what I mean? I want you to make. I want you to make butter. Take your marijuana and make butter out of it, so you can ingest your thing and have a mellow high. You all can chill out, you know, with marijuana butter. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I don't want you to smoke because that's bad for your lungs, and that's the, I can't. Surgeon General, I can't tell you that. What I'm trying to tell you, this boy can tell you anything. He can give you advice on anything, and what he's going to do, he's going to take the easiest thing to say: don't drink alcohol. <sighs> huh? That's the advice you're giving me. You're the Surgeon General. Give me some stuff I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sometimes my parents can tell me not to drink alcohol. My preacher can tell me not to drink alcohol. My whoever can tell me, who are you? Tell me something I don't know. That's the point, you know. Make some mushrooms available to me so I can alter my state. I like mushrooms, by the way. Okay, that's that's me. Let me let me let me stop right here. Look, all I'm trying to say is that look at your sources. There are people all over the world. We got the internet. Start looking. Put all uh, or having solutions in their little areas, and we need to look for solutions in our areas and stop listening to the big boys because the big boys are going to do what the big, what's in the big boys' interest, and all they're interested in doing is making us suffer. It's as simple as that. Just a little message from me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.